So it's been a while since I played Jailbreak or quite frankly any Roblox game on integrated graphics. So today I'm over here inside of a, you know, Jailbreak server. But you can see that I'm probably running at graphics one because like nothing's loading. And yeah, so I kind of am running at graphics level one just to see what the heck will happen on integrated graphics here. Okay, so uh, long story short, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, hop out of the game real quick, but this is an ROG Ally, it's basically a handheld computer and has like a CPU and a integrated graphics on board. So it's about as good as like what you can get in like a modern day laptop, so it shouldn't be terribly far off from like a comparison. Alright, let's go ahead and open a task manager just to prove to you that there is only AMD Radeon integrated graphics in here and it is the Ryzen Z1 Extreme CPU. But yeah, okay, let's go ahead and go back into Roblox, and we're going to try playing some games here at uh, integrated graphics 1080p, which is what probably the resolution most people play at. All right, so of course the first game I'm gonna go ahead and try is uh, Jailbreak, and we're gonna go ahead and load in here real quick. Uh, I'll go ahead and join the police team, and uh, stuff's gonna load and yeah, okay, I think the museum's under robbery in the server. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a helicopter and just fly around the city and I'm turned on the uh, FPS counter in the top left there so we can see how many frames we're getting inside of this game. So right off the bat, we're just flying around the prison area and it looks like we're getting around like 120 FPS, which is honestly kind of crazy for integrated graphics. I mean, to be fair, the CPU in here is pretty beefy. It's like the latest AMD CPU you can get, but uh, other than that, like, the, the GPU is like integrated, okay? Like, a lot of people associate integrated graphics with complete poop. Uh, why did I just fall out of my helicopter when I was going to the menu? That is really weird. But anyway, let's go ahead and turn the graphics up a little bit. Okay, let's go to like graphics 5. I'm sure that's probably like a good middle ground graphics. It will like show everything without like eating too much of your uh, resources here. Yeah, you can see we're still chilling around like 70 to 80 FPS in the just flying around the city in this helicopter. Nothing too scientific here. Just want to see if this game is even playable. Which so far it is very, very playable. Like at graphics level 5, I'm sure a lot of people like play a graphics 1 to modern jailbreak. But uh, who knows, okay? But I am on a controller right now, so I don't really have keyboard and mouse. I'm not going to play the game too much besides just fly around the helicopter. But if I can like fly a helicopter pretty well, I mean I can get out here and like use handcuffs and taser. So uh, will the taser even shoot? I think like this like Loki is broken right now, but <laughs> that's a different issue. I just want to see if it's playable on uh, minimum hardware specs. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, park the helicopter over here. Somebody's in a freaking jet behind me. That is interesting. But we'll go ahead and uh, go back into the menu. This time we're going to bump the graphics up a little bit more. So we're going to go to graphics level 7. This is like the minimum consider like near, you can see it, most of the map here. It just basically, I think, disables like anti-aliasing and some other fancy stuff. But yeah, we're still chilling around the 70 FPS mark, which is not bad at all. And at this point, you can basically see the whole map. So graphics 7 is a great way to get like a crap ton of FPS while still maintaining decent visuals inside of the game. And the integrated graphics appear to be handling this quite well at 1080p. Okay, though, well, like, obviously I'm not even going to bother trying 4K or anything like that, because uh, I highly doubt the integrated graphics will handle 4K, but I'll save that for a future video. Can integrated graphics play Roblox at 4K or something stupid? Yeah, for now, uh, I guess it's very playable. Like, if you, if you want to play, and I'm sure, like, if you have integrated graphics, you're not having a 4K monitor either, so... There is that, and we're at the final test here in this game. We're cranking it to maximum, and it is a little bit less than 60 FPS, but the fact that it can even run near 60 FPS on integrated graphics is quite amazing. Like, integrated graphics have come a long way since, you know, when I started the channel, and uh, yeah, you guys have probably seen the first few videos on this channel. Those are on, like, old integrated graphics, and they could not run anything that well. Like, everything was a bit laggy. Graphics level 1, you get the idea. I still have that computer around, so I might actually make a follow-up to this. 10-year-old PC versus uh, Roblox, with and without GPU, and we'll just, like, 
do some funny shenanigans on there. Let me know in the comment section down below if that's something you want to see, but... The fact that we are getting 60-ish FPS inside of Roblox Jailbreak on integrated graphics with no discrete video card, anything like that, like... Sure, it's the latest generation integrated graphics, but the fact that it is even integrated graphics in 2024 is honestly freaking fantastic because uh, you don't need like a super beefy computer to play Roblox games at 1080p. But yeah, see, this is all Jailbreak, which is a game I play. Let's go ahead and like hop into another server on a different game, and I don't even know what, what game should we play. We can try like some dress up game. And uh, we'll see how this uh, Royal High-ish game looks on uh, integrated graphics. Like, they always like to, like, throw the most crazy amounts of graphics in here. So we'll go ahead and uh, take a look here. I'm going to go and mute this game because I can't turn off the music from within the game. Uh, yeah, okay, so this is uh, an interesting game. I don't really know how to play this. Uh, we need to, like, go in here, I'm guessing. Let's go to the arcade. I think that's where I last was in this game. But yeah, we'll go ahead and like uh, swap on over there. Uh, it's gonna take a bit of time to load in. And once it loads in, we'll see how well it runs. I mean, this game is not a PvP game. You really don't need 60 FPS. And it, it, sure, it's like nice to have, but quite frankly, I'm using joysticks right now and it feels quite responsive. So like... I ain't complaining, this is totally playable for a little princess dress-up game. Like, I don't even think princess dress-up game players care too much about FPS. A lot of them probably play on, like, old iPads or something, so, yeah. Uh, it's totally playable. Like, this is a computer with the bare minimum, like, specs as you can really get. It's, it's, it's kind of crazy that bare minimum, like, nowadays, for, like, five, six hundred dollars, you can get eight cores and integrated graphics that don't suck. This game is running fine, just fine. Let's go into Goofy Spongebob Simulator. <laughs> yeah, th this is a interesting game. I played it a little bit and uh, <laughs> it it's a little bit goofy. But yeah, we'll go ahead and go into the Spongebob game real quick and just wander around the map here and the Goofy Spongebob from like the dinosaur era. But yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and like just fit here. This is totally playable. I mean, it's a controller, so I don't really get to test, like, you know, mouse stuff, because I'm used to keyboard and mouse, but quite frankly, if it's playable on a controller, it should be playable on keyboard and mouse. I mean, you look at the FPS in the upper left there, it's around 60, 50 to 60, something like that, and uh, that is completely fine, and this is not a half bad looking game. This is, I'm pretty sure we still are maxed out on graphics. Uh, yeah, we are. <laughs> So, max graphics, 60 FPS, completely playable here, uh, you got nothing to worry about, guys, like, you, we really don't need to, like, spend thousands on 4090s and stuff like that to play Roblox. We can get away with it on the integrated graphics, so uh, that's kind of interesting. I mean, unless you want, like, absurd amounts of FPS, then maybe, like, a discrete graphics would help, but... You're getting like 60 FPS for $600 here. Like the full package, including a display and a controller. Like you can play games at $600 here. This is how much this handheld costs. But yeah, like it's, it's pretty solid. This is a really great experience here. And yeah, I'm just running around SpongeBob World, Bikini Bottom, and uh, it's, yeah, it's fantastic. I have no complaints here. Maybe like, in a few years, we have even more cracked integrated graphics. <laughs> and the fact that this is integrated means that it could probably be in a laptop and you could play like on the go as well. You don't need like a desktop to play this. So you could probably play it on a bunch of laptops, which I'm gonna maybe do a follow up and like get a laptop with integrated graphics and try playing like both Intel and AMD. But yeah, anyway. Uh, <laughs> What else do we have left to test on Roblox? So, uh, you know, for kicks and giggles, I want to like go into Royal High. Or, no, we could go into Skibbity Toilet Defense. A lot of these games, you don't even need that much FPS to play, but... Uh, Gunfight Arena, we could probably... I've never played this game, so I'm curious, but... If this game gets a good amount of FPS, because shooter games, you want the most amount of FPS. Yeah, holy crap, this is very, very playable. Okay, uh... I don't even know, like, the controls on controller here, but wow, yeah, this is, this is actually, uh, okay, the sensitivity is a little crazy. 
but this is totally a very playable game here. I don't know if I can get a kill right now. Uh, what, what's even running? Okay, I think this is uh, swap guns. Uh, that's reload. That's crouch. Look, I don't know the controls on this game because I've never played it before. But it is very, very decent. Okay, can I get a can I get a kill? Ah, uh, <laughs> bacon air, bacon air. Oh my god, I got kills. <laughs> This is so funny, this guy's not even getting me. I'm barely even shooting, what the heck? How am I winning? How am I literally winning right now? These guys are so noob. <laughs> but yeah, you guys you guys get the idea. You could totally play this game on this this uh, integrated graphics here. I'll need to like drop the sensitivity a little bit, but it is absolutely playable. <laughs> yeah, and shooter games are like the most sensitive to FPS. So yeah, like Jailbreak, this game, uh, let me lower the sensitivity or something but yeah this is a uh, totally very very playable here okay here's that guy yeah we're, we're getting kills like it's nothing all right i mean sure i'm like not even running i don't even know if you can run in this game but uh we're we're playing it like no problem <laughs> yeah you guys are gonna have to get out of here come on bacon air come on bacon air get out of there your bacon air's freaking camping and spawn this is not good uh okay okay here's this guy here's this guy uh, switch guns, switch guns. Whoa, how am I like, sir? Bro, I survived for so long and I'm not even like on my optimal platform. This is freaking ridiculous. But yeah, you, point is, you can totally play games on integrated graphics and uh, on Roblox in 2024. And yeah, it's a pretty solid experience. I mean, you're sure you're not getting like top notch experience, of course, like you're playing on integrated graphics still, but. It's a good sign that integrated graphics have come a long way since when I started playing Roblox on them. Because I still remember back in the day you could barely play anything on there. Like, sure the graphics sucked even more than they do now, but the fact is, like, now we have even better graphics and the uh, games still run very smoothly on Roblox on integrated graphics. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up here. If you guys enjoy this uh, interesting style of video here where I just explore Roblox on like random platforms i guess uh like comment subscribe let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time